which I know it was. She go. That's the basic feel of it. So again, what it is, it's a, it's one, two, three, four, and it's one, two, three, four, one. what gives it that kind of little extra fun. So really it's very standard rock and roll E thing. The heavy beat is on the two and the four. So it's boom, chop, boom, chop, boom, chop, boom, chop. You gotta make that two and that four really slam. But then at the end of it, when she's about to break into the fourth, she, she changes chords from the E major, B minor, and she keeps going back and forth on. Change the D L, but you change the rhythm. One, three. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. E, B minor, E, B minor. Now D A on the one, three. That's that's practically the whole tune. through instead of doing that whole thing again she does one of these so it's always that D A E minor E sorry no E minor E B minor E B minor E B minor D A second set E B minor D A E, B minor, D, A. And every time she plays the D, A, she plays it as one, three. Well, everything else is on the backbeat, on the two, four. Third time here. Now the D, A. left is the chorus, and the chorus is way simple. It's just, uh, that's all it is. So she's just going to play the A and the lifted up finger, A, whatever it is. The only thing about it is to kind of get the timing of where the singing comes. It actually took me embarrassingly long to get that right. Um, and that's it. I guess there is one more thing. So in the verses, she's doing the E minor, the E, B minor, E, B minor, E, B minor, D, A thing. And the second time through, E, B minor, D, A, E, B minor, D, A. Uh, and then in the choruses, she's just doing... She does a little one time through of the between them. So you've done a chorus, you've done two, two verses, then a chorus, and then you're going to have this little instrumental before you go back to more verses. And that's just one teeny little bit different. It's so the E minor, B, E, B minor thing. But instead of the D, A, it's just A.